Managing longer conversations in ChatGPT can quickly become overwhelming as your projects grow. Editing your documents is also not possible in the standard chat, unlike Word documents. That's where OpenAI's new Canvas comes in. It's not just another update. It's a game-changing new interface designed to help you stay organized, edit in real time, and get suggestions more easily. So in today's video, you're going to learn how to use the new Canvas interface through two practical examples, one for writing and one for coding, so you can understand how it boosts productivity and keeps everything organized. Let's dive in. Once we're logged into ChatGPT, look for the Canvas option on the main menu and select it. Next, we type our prompt, and it should take us to Canvas. If it doesn't, simply ask ChatGPT to start the Canvas interface. Now, what we're looking at is the Canvas interface. On the left, we have our conversation with ChatGPT, just like usual. On the right, we have the powerful Canvas, which works similarly to a Microsoft Word document, where we can draft, edit, and organize our ideas, but enhanced with AI support. This setup keeps everything in one place. Imagine we're drafting a blog post titled Productivity Tips for Remote Workers. We can easily start writing in the canvas. Everything stays on the right side, while on the left, we can chat with ChatGPT as usual. Let's explore a few key features step-by-step step as we draft our blog post. First, notice that we can easily delete, copy, change the font, or write something new just like in a Word document. This helps us keep our content organized and well-structured. If we need to ask a question or edit a section, we can highlight it and use the Ask Chat GPT button to type our prompt directly in the canvas. This helps us develop our content more efficiently. Additionally, there's a button on the bottom right side that provides more features. Let's begin with the Suggest Edits button. For instance, if we're unsure about a particular paragraph, we can click Suggest Edits, and ChatGPT will provide instant suggestions for improvement, helping us refine our draft automatically. Need to adjust the length of a section? Simply click the Adjust Length button, and we can make the text either shorter or longer depending on our needs. This is incredibly useful when we want to fit our content within specific word limits or expand on a key idea. Next is the Reading Level button. This button allows us to adjust the complexity of our writing based on the target audience. For example, we might use a basic reading level when drafting a social media post to keep it accessible, but switch to a more advanced level for a technical document. With just a click, we can change the tone to be more sophisticated or casual. And if we want to make our content more engaging, we can add emojis by selecting the Add Emoji button, making the text visually appealing. Let's say we want to add a section about staying focused while working remotely. For example, we could ask ChatGPT to provide bullet points on maintaining focus by reducing distractions, setting a schedule, and taking regular breaks. We can use the Ask ChatGPT button, type the prompt, and get bullet points right here in the canvas. This feature makes the entire writing process much more collaborative and efficient. On the top right side, next to our profile, we have the Copy button to copy the entire text. The Show Changes button allows us to see what edits were made, making it easier to track revisions. Additionally, the Previous Version button helps us revert to earlier versions of our work if needed, giving us more control over our edits. Whether we need help rewriting a section or generating a complete document, these tools make it a highly collaborative experience. Next up, let's dive into coding. The Canvas interface isn't just for writers. Software developers can benefit greatly from it too. Coding is an iterative process, and it can be hard to follow all the revisions to your code in chat. Canvas makes it easier to track and understand changes in your code. Let's build a simple to-do list app using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We'll start by creating the structure of our app with HTML, then move on to styling with CSS, and finally, add interactivity using JavaScript.
With the basic structure in place, let's explore some of the key features of Canvas that help enhance our development process. First, we have the code review feature. After we write our initial JavaScript functions for adding tasks, we can use the code review button to get inline suggestions from ChatGPT to improve our code. If we think they're good ideas, simply click apply and ChatGPT will rewrite those sections. Next, there's the Add Logs feature. Debugging is an essential part of coding, especially when things aren't working as expected. With Add Logs, we can automatically insert console log or alert statements to understand what's happening in our code. For our To-Do List app, we can add logs to track when tasks are added or removed, making it easier to debug functionality. Another useful feature is Add Comments. As we code, we can click Add Comments to have ChatGPT insert explanations for each function or block of code. This makes our code much more understandable, not just for us, but for anyone else who might work on the project. For example, ChatGPT can add a comment explaining how the Add Task function works, which will be helpful when we revisit the code later. If we encounter an issue, such as a button not responding or an error in the console, we can use the Fix Bugs feature. ChatGPT will analyze the problematic code and suggest a fix, saving us a lot of troubleshooting time. This is particularly helpful for common JavaScript errors that can be difficult to pinpoint. Lastly, if we want to make our project more versatile, we can use the Port to a Language feature. For example, if we need to collaborate with someone who prefers Python, we can translate our JavaScript code into Python with a single click. This feature makes our app more adaptable and accessible to developers with different preferences. Once we've built our to-do list app and use these features to refine it, we'll copy the entire code into a coding editor like Visual Studio Code. This way, we can see how it works in a real development environment, verify that everything functions correctly, and make any final adjustments if necessary. ChatGPT Canvas is now on the beta version, but OpenAI will continuously improve it. It's currently available to ChatGPT Plus users, but not yet to those on the free plan. Compared to the classic ChatGPT, Canvas provides an advanced experience that boosts productivity, whether we're writing or coding. For writers, the new Canvas interface is like having a virtual assistant and a whiteboard in one, helping us draft, edit, and organize everything in the same space. For developers, it's an integrated environment where we can code, debug, and improve, all without jumping between tools or losing track of our coding process. If you want to learn more about ChatGPT, make sure to check out our playlist for more videos.